Hi, good morning children. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Welcome to Nirbhaya High School, Padmanaga Phase 2, Chintan. Digital Learning Classes to understand the subject easily. I am your English teacher, Astralakshmi Ma. Hi children, good morning. Have you done yesterday's work completed? I hope you have all completed. See here, what you have done with yesterday, we have completed our reading comprehension. Passage 1 and Passage 2. Till yesterday we have completed our textbook part. Yes, you learned. Sixth lesson, textbook part. Now we are going to do the module 6. First in module 6, what is the topic children here? Vocabulary. What it is children? Vocabulary. Vocabulary topic is there. Before the vocabulary, we are having a sentence dictation. Tell your parents to dictate some sentences. Okay children? Uh, okay. Now, see vocabulary part. What is there in the vocabulary? Using a dictionary. Here, a dictionary is the book that lists words and their meanings in alphabetical order. See, here, children, I have one dictionary here. A small dictionary I am having here. See here, how they will give the bold letters of the words and the remaining words, letters of the meaning for that. Okay, children. Meaning for that word. Okay, children. Here, how to use this? I have already explained you how to use the dictionary. I hope everyone understood that one. See here. Now, you want any word to find out. You should check in up. And the title you can, and you can search here the bold, the letters, the words. Okay, children. And you can write, you can see the meaning of that word. Understood, children? I hope everyone are having the dictionary. Okay. And nowadays, not only in the book you are seeing. Yes, children. In the phone, everyone is seeing in the phone. Just typing that word and the meaning is getting. Yes, uh, so many people are uh, not at all using this dictionary. Yes, everyone is nowadays, everyone having the smartphones and they are seeing in the phones. Just they are typing the word, then the meaning it is coming. Yes, they are having the phone dictionary also. Yes, children, we are having the phone dictionary, net dictionary, phone dictionary and they are having the normal, the book dictionary also. Yes, children. See, this by seeing the words, we are searching here the words and we are writing from the dictionary. Normal dictionary. And from the phone dictionary, just we are typing the word, then we are getting the meaning. Yes, children. This is the two types of dictionaries we are having. Now, see here. See here, children. Now, fear. Now, we are giving any word here. Low. They are given here. Which, how it will be in the phone. See. Online dictionary. How it will be. See. Low it is there. Then it gives adjectives, noun and what is the meaning here that it will be providing you. Yes, children. Everyone knows that. Yes. Now see here, low they have given. Adjective it is in one type of it is adjective. Of less than average height from top to bottom or to the top from the ground. The school is a long low building, a low table. Means here they are giving the meaning like this. Okay, children. Here the same low we are searching in the book. L-O, W, low. We are going into the low letter, L letter, and we are going into the O, L-O, L-O after, W. L-O after what it is children? W. We should go to the L-O, W, low. Yes, L-O, W, low. What it is here? Here also it is written, adjective. And the meaning is what? Not tall or high, relatively close to the ground. Close to the bottom of a particular scale grade. They have given different meanings for this. Okay, children, different meanings are there for low. You can search in your dictionary. You can see in the online dictionary also. Yes, children. Now here, see. Again, another type of their noun. Low, adject, low is adjective and noun also. A low point level or a figure. His po popularity ratings are at an all-time low. See, examples also they are giving. Okay, children, online dictionary is there and normal our book dictionary also is there. Now, I am giving you a work. I will not tell this. I said dictionary you should use. Yes, in the phone you just type means you will get the meaning. In, the, in this dictionary you will search and write the meaning. Yes, children, L. Now, any word is there for apple you want. You should see the A. Where, how it will be see here? A, written, A will be written. You will be having that. And we are going to see the B. Then here B it will be written and it will have in the meaning. Yes, for, for the words, the B words will be having the meanings. Okay, children. Now here, what is your work to do? See here, you exercise 2.1. 
you only should do okay i will tell only one using a physical dictionary to find the meanings of the first three words then use an online dictionary to find the meanings of the next three words here they have given six words first one second one third one fourth five six yes sir first three you should write manual dictionary manual means our book take the dictionary physical dictionary take the dictionary and write it out and coming to the next three and next three write it down online see first tradition what it is the passing on of custom customing or beliefs from generation to generation see the passing on of customs or beliefs from generation to generation first one is that from the dictionary normal dictionary which is we are using our hand dictionary and coming to the next three see here asian very old or long ago very low old or of long ago very old or of long ago this is the online dictionary see now you should do this too i will not tell you okay now this for total six words are there for six words first three words write with the physical dictionary second three words write with the online dictionary understood children and here search the following words in the dictionary write their meanings and parts of speech also mention a synonym for each word we should write the meaning also parts of speech also and synonym synonym means what only one word meaning what it is one word meaning children see here cheerful cheerful is what this is exercise 2.1 you should do your own and 2.2 also you should do your own means what own means what using the dictionary is yes children now you will use the dictionary and find out means it is very easy here huh? yes now just i will tell the first one okay first one is what cheerful cheerful is what it is a part of adjective parts of speech is adjective yes children and coming to the meaning happy and positive synonym happy or jolly yes means you should write the meaning here first parts of speech meaning synonym parts of speech meaning synonym you should write for six words cheerful huge amusing swiftly sent gift for six words you should write parts of speech meaning synonym in your book in your dictionary only you will have see here first they will be writing here dictionary in the dictionary see you are searching for cheerful no they will be written here noun or it is what it is adjective it is noun means it will be noun written like this they will be writing here okay chilla now cheerful is there they have written adjective because it is an adjective part okay chilla now see when it is noun means what it comes now we are searching for tree it will be written noun okay happy ha huh? what is happy they will be written there the parts of speech also will be given there in the physical dictionary and as you children now you should find out this in your dictionary and write it in the workbook 2.1 and 2.2 you should complete this is your homework and as you children yes now see vocabulary part is finished okay this is your work okay now we are going to learn about the grammar part yes children grammar part in grammar part what is the topic today's topic is articles see here children in your last class is means in your third class you have learned yes before i i am explaining you again now okay we will first i will introduce about articles what are the articles tell me children yes very good a and the are articles now before going into the articles now how we will use these articles we want no so i am teaching you today see here a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z ma'am we know a b a to z we know ma'am you are telling yes yes you know a to z that oh, i know also now here see these are how many letters are there in a to uh, what are the english letters a to z are the english letters yes now how many letters are there in this how many children 26 we are having there 26 letters yes children and in 26 letters i am rounding off some letters a i o a e i o u 
I have rounded five letters. What are these letters called? Tell me. Yes, these letters are called as verbals. These letters are called as verbals. Okay, children. And the remaining letters. Yes, the remaining letters are called as consonants. The remaining letters are called as consonants. First, you should remember that these five letters are verbal letters and these are the remaining letters are consonant letters. And here we will tell that the when we are pronouncing these words, we will tell as verbal sound words and consonant sound words. Means, see, the verbal sound words means what? The when we are, the letter may be whatever it may be. When we are pronouncing, the sound comes like a verbal sound means, we will tell as verbal sound it word. Consonant sound means consonant sound. Sounds means what? The pronunciation. See, a, uh, it is pronounced as a, uh, apple, b, k, d, e, e, f, k, ha. Like this we will pronounce. Yes, in the, in the third class, your teachers has pronounced like this and said, I think. Yes, I know, I remember that you have learned that words, that sounds. Okay, children. Now see. A, B, C, D. Here A is a verbal. Now here, now if you have idea about vowels and consonants. Yes, children. Now we are going to see the articles. Now your articles. What are the articles here? A and the. Here articles points the nouns or a group of nouns. Okay, children. A and the. First, where we will use A, where we will use and, where we will use the. Okay, children. First, normally, generally, I will tell you, see. A. A is used before the consonant sound words. A is used before the consonant sound words. But singular words for the singular words. And coming to the and. And is used before vowel sound words. It is used before vowel sound words. And the is used for the particular. Means a specific, a unique things. The is used. Okay children. Now, this is about in your third class, you have learned like this. Yes, A is used for the consonant sounds, and is used for the verbal sounds, the is used for the unique things. Okay, then. Now, a little bit deep, we will go into our topic. Okay, see here, we are having here definite articles and indefinite articles. Okay, children. Definite articles and indefinite articles. Here, indefinite articles are what? Definite articles are what? Okay, now see here before entering into the topic, see here in your page number 69, we are having the tick yes or no for the given articles. Can we say the following? See, a man, uh, an apple, and tree, a octopus, the oranges, an egg. You check it. Already I have explained where it is used. Okay, children? Now, see here. Now I have said you about the Articles where it is used, everything we have said. Now coming to the topic, what it is? A is used, and is used, the is used as it. Okay. Now we are going to tell about the definite and indefinite articles. See so your children. A and an are the indefinite articles. A and an are the indefinite articles. These two are indefinite articles. Okay. And coming to the, it is definite articles. It is definite articles. Now see, we will see. These are used depending on first sound of a word. The first letter of a word makes a consonant sound. The article A is used before the word. The, if the first letter of a word makes a vowel sound, the article an is used before it. I said, you know, see here, these two are indefinite articles, indefinite articles. Now, A is used before a word which sounds the consonant sound. An is used before a word which sounds the verbal sounds. Here, verbal A boy. A boy. A boy. B sounds as a consonant. Here, G. And egg. And egg. And that's it, you learn. This is the vowel sound word. Now, you remember here, you should not check the words which is starting with the vowel letters are not. You should check the sounds. You should check the sound. That is very, very important, children. You should check the sound. Means the consonant sound or the vowel sound. See, in some cases here. Now, what is this? 
honor honor we will pronounce it as honor we will pronounce it as honor we will pronounce it as honor children means we will h is silent here but the word starts with a consonant letter only but we are pronouncing here as honor see here r we will pronounce it as we will pronounce it as r okay children our not r we will pronounce means what here h is here silent and i said children so what you will use here an an and i said children and we will use here h is silent see here uniform however the starts with vowels vowel letter but the sound is consonant so we will use here a the sound is consonant so we will use here a understood children uniform honor we will pronounce as a honor so we will use as and here see first point first you should remember that va see here you should remember the sound the words which are starting with the consonant letter or a vowel letter but when we are pronouncing the sound should be with the vowel means we will use an consonant means we will use a the sound of the word should be consonant word consonant sound or a vowel sound you should identify it and you should use the a and an this is about the a and an indefinite articles and coming to the last article is what third article is the yes children the is called the definite article it is used to as i know unique things see here refer to the specific or a particular noun or something that has already been talked about refer to something that is the only one of its kind refer to names of rivers mountains seas so on means in a sentence the is used in a sentence now already we have mentioned about one person again we are going to mention means we will use the and so children and coming to the next point unique things the moon the earth the sun these are the unique no and the mountains names the rivers names will use the and so children a specific or a particular noun will use the the is a definite article and so children see here the thief who stole the diamonds has not been caught the sun is shining brightly okay these are the examples of the now i hope that you have understood about the a and the okay children and i want to tell you about the another point about the here the is pronounced as in two ways okay children not only it is pronounced as the it is also pronounced as the see here the this is this two will pronounce as the and the see for your in from for your identification i'm writing here two is we will pronounce the 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 but we will write th the only for both but when we are pronouncing the and the now see where you will use the where how you will pronounce the the and how you will pronounce the the in which cases you will pronounce that words we will see okay children see see here we pronounce the when the next word starts with a consonant sound we pronounce the when the next word starts with a vowel sound see now before only i said you know consonant sounds and vowel sounds now see apple the vowel sounds apple we will pronounce as apple and apple we will tell yes like this we can use here the apple means what how you will pronounce here the the apple means for the consonant vowel sounds we will use the we will write the, the only th the only we will write but when we are pronouncing we will pronounce as the the apple the elephant the ice cream the orange the umbrella like this we will pronounce and as children for the consonant sounds we will write we will pronounce the has the for the vowel sounds we will pronounce the as the remember these two points the we pronounce the when the next word starts with a consonant sound we will pronounce the when the next word starts with a vowel sound understood children this is about the and we are having the another article also children what it is zero article zero article means what the every where the articles is article is not necessary 
okay in some cases it is not necessary okay mostly we will use the articles and we will write the sentence everything but in some cases we will not use the articles like that articles wherever we are not using they are called as a zero articles the term zero article is used there okay see, look. see articles are not always necessary okay there are times when we do not need to add an article before some nouns in such cases the term zero article is used Okay, children. See the examples here. We do not use articles while saying general things about plural and uncountable noun. See, I hate the coffee. We will not tell. I hate a coffee. We will not tell. I hate coffee. We will tell. Yes, children. I love rock music. I love the rock music. I love rock. How we will tell? I love rock music. Here we are not using any article. I am afraid of heights. I am afraid of heights. Here also we are not using the articles. We do not use article before abstract nouns also. We will not use before abstract nouns also. Creativity and patience. Okay, for this we will not use. Means abstract nouns means you know no children. We will not touch that all is there no. Means which we can't touch, see that all called as abstract nouns. We don't use articles before names of people, countries, towns, subjects, languages or people now. Means we will not use the articles for the some of the countries' names, towns, uh, subjects. We will not use the articles. Remember this, children. Okay. Now we have done about the articles. Tomorrow we will complete our exercises 3.1, 3.2. You have understood about the articles means you also can complete that. Okay, children. And I said you to complete the project work also. No, the first project you should complete and submit on Wednesday. Understood, children. See, articles are about a and the other articles. Okay, children. A and an are used before the consonant sounds. No, sorry, a is used before the consonant sounds. An is used before the vowel sounds. The used for the unique things. And here a and an are indefinite articles. The is a definite articles. You can complete your exercise 3.1, 3.2. Okay, children. Uh, tomorrow I will complete you the, the remaining exercises. Thank you, children. Complete the project and submit on Wednesday. Okay, children. Complete it.